So my alarm went off and I can say that this morning I didn't feel as groggy and lethargic like I did a couple mornings ago, but let's get this day started and let's get to this gym. This is me putting the gel on my Polar Fit heart rate monitor. This is what helps it to transmit your heart rate to get your actual calorie burn. These are the tags on my pants that I'm wearing from Target. They are so comfortable and they are very, very stretchy. Just really nice and comfortable for working out. So I wanted to share that with you. I found these on clearance. Hopefully you can find some as well. I had them for a while, but I think this is one of their exercise and clothing brands. Quick and easy breakfast. Yeah, I know I love bacon and boiled eggs, so until I get tired of it, it's probably what I'll be eating because it's quick and easy for me. Next, I'm preparing my water for the gym as well, so I don't forget. Some rice cakes and bananas. Then she out of them, so I'm going to pack some of those for her and give them to her when we get out there. And she picked me up. This in here, um, before I go while I'm thinking about it, and I got a few minutes. It is 4.51, so it's not time for me to go yet. If you have been emailing me, and I'm supposed to call you, get back to you or anything, please understand I'm not ignoring you. I just need to li literally focus on what's important right now, and that's my health. So just give me, you know, a little bit of time, a week or so, to get into the groove of things. That way I can get back to your emails and all that. Um, because... I just had to make this a priority at this time. I had to make this a priority. So it's not that I'm ignoring you or anything. Please understand that. I'm very busy. Very busy. Um, so yeah. And I'm trying to share, you know, my life and this journey with you guys and having to record and remember to do all these things is a lot, but it's worth it so I can share my journey to inspire you and push you to be motivated to go and do it because we all got this, all right? So, let me go and get in the truck. Mom should be here. She was here about 5.55. So, let me grab my stuff and go. And I'll see you at the gym. It's here. <laughs> How you feeling this morning? Okay, I had a little bit of rest. You did? Yes, I was so tired. Those are your rice cakes and your bananas. Say good morning. Good morning, team. About to eat a nanter. They not that right, Mom. All right, y'all. See, I won't get there. Here, head it in, head it in. Make sure you stretch before you work out because it will help your muscles to prepare for the workout. I promise you, you will hurt more if you don't. So stretch to get your muscles warmed up before your warm up. Now, as you know, this video will be almost an hour if I recorded just what I did in the gym. So I got on a treadmill and I started off at a three and um, my speed and I had no incline. And then after a couple minutes, you see the treadmill did go up. So I did incline a little bit. My goal is to be in the gym less time, but burn more calories. So that's what I'm pushing for. So this is my burn from the treadmill. So after my 20 minutes on the treadmill, I went over to the Cybex Arc Trainer and I love this machine. It is a different type of burn. I have did so much research on this many years ago when I first, first, first started a weight loss journey as an adult. Um, I started with this and I lost a lot of weight just doing a lot of cardio, but I learned that implementing strength training was the best for not being flabby when you lose the weight. So I do want to get back into this, but you will see that I will actually implement more, but this is one of my faves. I love it. And I did 25 minutes on it. The massager. I think mama here. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go on this one. All you gotta do is sit down, put the coins in, that's it. Okay, thank you, baby. Alright. Okay. So I just put my fish in it. Put your coins in. Oh. What's that, Mom? So just these massages alone is worth the $21 that you pay a month. I mean, to get a regular massage is what, $60 or more? Just this alone, and I can come every day if I want to, or if I just feel like I need a good massage, I can just come in with my card and get this massage. So this is a great amenity of the gym, and this is something that is also a plus. And um, I truly enjoy it as well did she, and it has like a big screen TV where we can watch what we want to watch as we get our massages my calorie burn for today so i want y'all to see that and we're getting ready to head out so this is going to go in the refrigerator and when i get up from my power nap i'm going to eat this um at about 10 ish 11 ish so i'm preparing that i can right toss that and then i'm gonna put this stuff in the um refrigerator because the kids like this as well so i like to have it available so yep i have to toss this and this is for mom she's gonna come pick this up before she go to work so that's for her i'm going to take a cutie go get this footage off this camera put this in the refrigerator and I'll go take a shower and I will talk to you guys later. The water that I had at the gym, this is what I drunk. And I'm gonna drink it down a little bit and then put it back in the freezer so this can freeze up for the morning. So I'm gonna go with this now. Cause I got some water by my bedside. So this can go, I can't put the top on it in that area so I'm gonna put that in the freezer and go edit and shower and take me a nap I always try to find unique things for us to do and I just purchased these tickets to see this underwater bubble show that is like torn all over it wasn't bad it was like 137 for all four of us to go and I was in the gym and I seen this and I said oh no I gotta take my girls and my husband so we are going and this is going to be so fun and i'm actually currently editing as oh well so i got to edit <laughs> so i'm gonna write edit i didn't even get to sleep y'all i'm just like the life of a mom but i have to make sure that we find time to make these experience with our babies and this right here had me in awe um seeing this on the uh screen at the gym like all the stuff that they were showing i was like oh my gosh it kind of remind me of when we went to Cirque du Soleil so yeah i'm so excited to take our family to this goosebumps thingy i mean you hear me goosebumps i'm seeing goosebumps and reading goosebumps but I right, guys i love creating memories i'm so excited like a big kid so now it needs to go on my calendar as surprise for the kids so they won't know until we go and we're headed to Ruby school because a teacher basically is taunting my child. <sighs> yep. I am back home and hopefully the situation get rectified. I spoke to one of the deans at the school and she loves my baby. She had her when she was little. So she knows my child. She was like, oh, my, not my Rizzy. She gives me a hug every morning. No, I know for sure that what that teacher is saying is not the case. And I'm going to talk to her today because I guess the principal is on vacation or something like that. So if not, I would be going up to their corporate offices because you will not harass or taunt my child. So now it's time to shower so I can lay down. Got the editing and stuff, right? I'm not really tired, so... Bam. Let's see what I can find on television. Yeah, I have energy. Like, I feel, I don't feel lethargic. I don't feel tired. So, we shall watch a movie. I'm going to try Netflix. I've been finding some nice little family movies. I like family, like, fun movies, funny movies. Like, yeah. So, that's what I'm going to watch. All right, y'all. 
See y'all later. Chicken, spinach, and romaine. My egg, my meat out for taco wraps for tonight. So let me get this salad going. I mean made and so that way you guys can see what I'm going to heat up this chicken. Alright, I have eggs, romaine, spinach, croutons, cheese that I shredded. I just got done shredding my cheese. Y'all, I love to shred my own cheese. You'll hear me say that a lot. Mm, black olives, if I didn't say that. And sauteed chicken that I heated up from yesterday. Because I didn't eat the chicken. This is what they had for dinner yesterday. Tonight we're having taco rolls. But I like to mix my um, salad dressings. Being that this one um, is a little bit more, less calories. It's only 60 calories from the um, ranch. I will put, because it's 130 for a tablespoon, I believe. Two tablespoons. So I like to put um, that on first. And then I'll mix my... Um, my ranch with it so I'm not using as much ranch so hold on well it's almost gone so I'm gonna try to get whatever's in here out of here we got a new one so I'm gonna enjoy this and go upstairs oh and I got black pepper on there I love black pepper on my salads all right guys so still haven't eaten this so this will be later probably about because it's 11 let me see what time it is it's 11 48 so I'm thinking about three two ish three ish I'll eat that and then I'll have dinner by like 5 36 o'clock my tray yes it looks like more ranch than it is but i promise there's not a whole, whole bunch but oh well i'm not eating a whole bunch throughout the day so that's a good thing all right guys about to go enjoy i am done it was delicious i just left some of them croutons i put like an overload of croutons i shouldn't have but all done um it is now 2:29, and i ate this earlier <clears throat> and relaxed so i'm going to clean up these dishes and um have me a ginger ale i feel like drinking one today so i'm gonna have that and um make my other thing a water because right after the ginger ale i'm gonna be guzzling down some water and i still y'all did not eat my um carrots and stuff they're still right there maybe that'll be late night or something i don't know we shall see uh, this tastes sweeter than ever Oh my gosh. Oh, and I love these ginger ale. Y'all know I be busting these down. Mm. Munched on some trail mix between dinner. Just making the tacos. She helped today. And so she's doing the tacos for me. And they almost done. She's shredding her cheese and um getting everything set and we're getting ready to eat dinner the stuff i prepped um i didn't eat earlier and two big taco wraps which is cheese olives um sour cream and ground beef and some romaine and a cup of water with my block of ice in it <laughs> so that's dinner this is so freaking good and I'm really not missing the shell because the romaine is so crispy. It's so good, guys. I like to put black beans and chickpeas, but um, I let Naya cook it. So, I, you know, I let her keep it a little basic this time. And I forgot to buy it. So, yeah. <laughs> yep, these are really tasty. A great option for tacos instead of the bread. Uh, this is day three. Yep, day three. I got some notes. Today was like an all over the place type of feeling for me. As you see, I showed you everything I ate today. I have a cutie and one rice cake with peanut butter. Um, I don't know. I'm not really hungry and it's like eight. Um, but because I know where I come from, basically how I am, I'm, I'm like... I'll need something sweet. I know I will. Um, I ate the grapes. And I ate all the celery. And I left two carrots. I didn't eat two carrots. But everything else I ate with my tacos. 
today has just been crazy. So what do you guys feel about the vlog style? What do y'all feel about the way I'm doing it? Do y'all like the way I'm doing this? Because what I'm trying to do is just give snippets of things that's going on in my life through this journey. Because it's, my life is not all about the journey. Yes, I am totally focused on the journey, but I st I'm still a mom and I still have things going on. So, you know, I want to implement those things and share those things as well. Um, and, oh my gosh, this tripod pinched my hand so bad i feel like i'm gonna get a blister right there you see it so yeah just let me know what y'all think about that i don't want this confession to be too long um so do y'all like the way i'm doing it um i told y'all um i'm gonna start implementing more um workouts as you see in this one um it's gonna be you seeing me on the treadmill I did that for 20 minutes and I went to another machine for 25 minutes, kind of switching it up. My favorite machine was the one, the second one. And years, years, years ago, even, even before I started training, when I was um, trying to do a, a weight loss journey, um, and that's when I started my um, Body Right Divas group years ago. Um, or was it after the fact? I think that, yeah, no, I think that was way before I even started training. Um, I started that group on Facebook, which I will be getting popping once I get back in the flow of things. I don't want nothing overwhelming me now. I want to get in the flow of this vlogging, get in the flow of this journey, get in the flow of how to make this vlogging easier for me every day to share my day with those who I inspire and those who are riding with me and we're pushing together. Um, so yeah, I'll open that up probably in a couple of weeks once I get the, the swing of things underneath my belt. Um, so... Um, still prepared. See, I got to start right. See, I, you ever write notes and they so, so shorten at that time, you know what it mean? But then when you go back, you'd be like, uh, uh, so, um, today I also found out that the yard sale place that I was talking about is May and not in, um, not in, uh, July. So I called them. Hopefully they'll call me back so I can declutter this house and put that on the other video. Cause I'm trying to purge myself of the unhealthy eating and trying to get more fitness in and get my weight where it needs to be my ideal weight and then um yeah so now what i started doing last night is putting alarms on my phone so at 10 o'clock my phone is already going to go into a do not disturb mode so i'm gonna try to see that it is my do not disturb my do not disturb is set from 9 30 to 4 15 a.m that means my phone will be strictly silent. So that's going to start at um, 9.30 p.m. That's so I can get my butt in the bed. Because these alerts and them things on my phone is what keep me up. So that's that's something I wanted to share with y'all. Sleep is so important. It's so important. And um, I don't know. I felt real rejuvenated. Then all of a sudden I felt like... Ugh, tired and I felt like you know I was just it's just been up and down it's been up and down and I know that's because my body has been unhealthy and eating unhealthy and all that stuff and not used to the fitness part of it um because that takes a whole toll on your body so with that being said I know I'm going to have some ups and downs and some things going on in that area with my body hold on it's my mom-in-law hold on one second Okay, so I know it's going to have some ups and downs, so she's called me to tell me she's on her way. I got to make her food. Um, so that's my rest plan. Um, yeah, today I think I overdid it with the croutons. I don't know, and I'm not saying that because I'm eating healthy. I don't know, my hand was just heavy, and they just poured out, and I didn't want to remove them because it was, you know, other stuff sticking to them and stuff. So I think I overdid it on the croutons. I just felt like I ate too many croutons. And I wouldn't even eat that many, even not trying to be healthy, not trying to transition or anything. So, yeah, um, I really thank y'all for the support. It means the, the oh, my gosh, I don't even know. It means the world to me. The emails, oh, my gosh, they mean to the world to me. And TP Girl, you really touched me. And I did respond. So look for look for your um, email response from me. Um, and that, um, oh, my gosh, that was a heartfelt i mean that was a really awesome email and it really meant a lot um to me so thank you for that girl and all the others that just said they were encouraging me and they're rooting for me i appreciate it y'all have no clue what it means to me because this is a journey that you know i'm i'm trying my best i'm going to do my best not trying i'm going to do my best to fight through it till i see my ultimate goal um so I showed that. Okay, so, and here's the other thing. 
here's the other thing I started doing looking at this in the morning because and I do this when I travel too because it's it's hard for me to um, remember everything so I want to make sure I remember everything so I have a list of everything I do in the morning wake up drink take water take vitamins I mean everything is on here so I'd be like okay did that did that did that did that you know everything is here of what I need to do in the morning so that's one thing um I do want to start incorporating my jump rope but I think I'll start that next week but I got that on here so I won't forget it um so people been talking about intermittent fasting if you've been following my vlog you know i've talked about that several times and um talked about maybe incorporating a little keto keto has a lot of stuff that are that is really um intriguing to me as far as the cheese and the meats and the bacon and all that type of stuff that's something that's like okay i can rock with that so um yeah so definitely going to be doing some fasting i think tomorrow um, I don't know. I think I might start the intermittent fasting next um, week and I'll let you guys know how I do it. Well, you will see it in the vlog. Um, I think I will just take my vitamins in the morning, drink water, drink water, drink water and see. Now, if I'm doing a lot of working out, I don't want to just not put nothing in there. I know I can lose weight faster that way, but at the end of the day, I just want to maybe put something in there, even if it's like a, just a cutie to just satisfy me every hour I probably eat one of them or some grapes or something and not nothing else I don't know I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna do it my way um what's best for me because everybody's body tends to, I mean takes to things differently and I don't want to be nauseous I don't want to feel sick and I don't want to do something that's overwhelming to me or my body so that's why I want to do it that way so um yeah I've been really moody feeling sad feeling happy feeling excited, feeling anxious, wanting to go back to the gym, like, I've been really moody, and, um, we're just gonna see how this goes, i just been feeling really moody, um, yeah, so, that's basically it for the today, I got my water over there, I got my cutie and my rice cake, and, um, yeah, more than likely, I'll eat this, um, yeah, more than likely, I'll eat this, we shall see, we shall see, um, probably probably later though i really want to stop eating at least by um nine o'clock um and i'm really not hungry for this so i may not and i might save it for tomorrow but i don't know i really want to just stop eating at a certain time we shall see right <sighs> all right guys um that is it i think i covered everything it was something i meant to write on here and i so forgot i so forgot but yeah that was my day for today and let's push day four oh rest that's what it was rest but it was still something else rest my plan for rest is saturday and sunday that's the plan rest is, is saturday and sunday so saturday and sunday it'll be videos that i choose to put up it could be some how-tos that i didn't get to put up or it could be about the weight loss so the weekends will just be random videos but it'll still say um day whatever on, I don't know. What do y'all think? You think I should still put the days when I do the weekends, even though I'm resting on those days, um, and then just continue on for next Monday. It'll start day six. You get what I'm saying? I don't know because see, the thing is that's going to be confusing is I'm counting from the day that I start all the way to the, 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 the last day I told you of June. So all of those days are counted. And even though I may not be working out, um at this point i don't think i am um i wanted to have rest days i think that i um uh, no i know that i'm still going to be eating a certain type of way so i don't know help me figure that out y'all that's kind of difficult how what I, should i do the weekends hmm i don't know i don't know I, i'm stumped i'm stumped on the weekends i'm stumped because i don't know i don't know <laughs> tell me what y'all think about the weekends because those were supposed to be the days that I wanted to use for rest. So let me know. All right, guys. Remember, stick to your script because you are the best at it. And I will see you guys in the next vlog tomorrow. Later, Gators.